I'm nine months locked today and this is me before I self-maintain my hair and do my little wash day. And this is me after. Let me show you how I did that or how I'm gonna do it. Okay, so I try to be as natural with my hair with my locks as I can when I'm maintaining them myself. So I don't use a lot of products. I don't use a lot of anything on it. I save that for when I go to the loctician and they retwist my hair. So I had this old Dubro oil bottle and I just take that and I just put some apple cider vinegar in it. So I put about that much in it and then I'm just gonna fill the rest with water. And that's what I'm gonna use. And I like this because it's like the nozzle, so you can just like really put it in between your hair strands and just like, it just feels really good. Perfect, obviously. It's not like as amazing as it could be using something else. It works for me and it holds me over until I go see my loctician. So I, that's what I do. And that's what I'm gonna use today. Okay, so I'm out of the shower. So this is what we're dealing with. And honestly, it doesn't look that bad. There's a little bit of like fluff and stuff, but I'm gonna keep it really simple. Something that changed this month is how I feel about my hair and how I wanna start talking about my hair and how I wanna start doing things. I watched this video, this creator, her name's Mayowa. Her channel's called Mayowa's World and I've been watching her for a long, long time, like for years. And when I started watching her, I went back and I watched all her old videos. What I'm gonna do is just section off the edges of my hair. That's usually all I work with. So I'm gonna take something and pull everything else back. But yeah, I watched her a lot before I got locks. I've watched her for years because I like her social commentary videos too. But I also like her freeform locks. But she had this video where she was talking about like the ugly stage of locks and how people refer to it during that and how they just like talk about their hair. It just made me think about it a lot. I feel like my biggest update from this month is that like after getting my last retwist, I was like, where's the thickness? Where'd the thickness go? Because my hair felt a lot more formed for a longer time and it didn't like poof back up quickly and I was like actually surprised by it I was like what happened what changed missed the thickness and I feel like I just have a weird relationship to change in general I'm just taking this aloe vera gel and so that's why I feel like I missed my thick hair because I had gotten so accustomed to it. And so I just like kind of retwist it a little bit. I try not to do too much. I'm not obviously awesome at it, but it helps a lot. But I do worry about the thinning potentially of my hair. I don't like change. So stuff like that is really difficult for me when it, my hair looks so different. And during this process at different stages and just like getting used to that has been kind of difficult for me. But after watching her video and just like feeling that feeling, I've gotten less scared of my hair thickening up or looking very frizzy because that's just what my hair does. And I'm just at this point where I'm like, I like how easy it is to take care of my hair. And I try not to clip at the root, I clip a little bit further back. So that's what we're doing. And this whole week, I haven't done my edges once. I'm not a big edges person. I'm not really good at it. I like when like hairstylists do it on me and stuff like that, but I don't really know how to do it. But it was kind of nice just like not caring, you know, and just like liking my hair how it is and liking my edges grown out a little bit and not feeling like I need to be manicured a lot. And I've talked in my previous updates a lot about like working out and how every time I work out, my hair would just like frizz up really bad. And I think I kind of use that as an excuse not to work out <laughs> and I need to work, start working out more and I'm going to continue to do that no matter what my hair looks like and hopefully as it keeps on maturing it won't matter because it'll be fully locked so I shouldn't even have to worry about it at all. And I feel like um, another change that I had this month was I felt my locks on my back a lot more. Like I would be doing something and I'd like twist and I could feel them on my back and I thought that was cool and kind of crazy. And it just, again, watching her video, it just made me think about how like, your hair can always grow. It can always grow longer, you can always add to it, but it'll never be this short again if I'm like wanting to grow it out. And it's like, just like appreciate this stage because it's hot outside. So would it be nice to have hair to my butt? Yeah, 
but there's a reason that it's not to my butt and just like that takes time and living and growing that I haven't experienced yet and I'm just be grateful for the process in every stage. I think that her video helped me with that a lot. Yeah, I remember at the beginning, like in my two month update, I talked about how like one had unraveled at the top because I was messing with it. I didn't know how to twist it back. And now I can twist it back. And like, I think I just watched a video of how they like palm rolled it. I don't think I do it perfectly, but it works for this little retwist. I mean, this little like refresh. Ooh, girl. And so I like to spray, every day I spray water. So like I spray from the spray bottle, I spray that. And then some days I'll spray this. I used to use this on my face, I still do all the time. It's just like really good for your skin. It just makes it feel more moisturized. It's just the Mario Badesco. So I'll spray that in my hair. And then when I refresh, I also, like to spray this, which I used when I was loose, I had full relaxed. Um, it's just the cream of nature leave-in. I like it, I think it smells good. I think it does. And especially since I didn't condition my hair or shampoo it, I just used the apple cider vinegar and diluted with water. I feel like this helps a little bit. It's not too heavy. That's it, and that's how I feel about nine months, and I can't believe that we're three quarters of the way done. Wait up. No. Yeah. Three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah, we're three quarters of the way done and we're almost there to a year and I, I can't wait for that. And my goal is I can't wait for all of my ends to conceal. I don't think it's gonna happen for a year, maybe not, but I really want that. And I can't wait to like cut off these little guys. They're kind of fun, but I'm always like playing with them. Okay, so I'm back from drying my hair and I forgot to mention that Sometimes I do oil my hair after I do everything that I did previously. So I am gonna add a little bit of oil because it feels a little dry. I just could like the heat. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take out the clips. I feel like when I was um, loose natural, I didn't really enjoy doing my natural hair. I did sometimes, but not every time. But with my locks, I feel like I do it so rarely that when I do do it, I really enjoy doing it. Which I think is nice but it's not like something that I like dread doing because it's not as extensive as my natural hair care was so yeah I think I'm gonna dry a little bit more but yeah thanks for watching this video